helping them to, to unlock their, their own, you know, creativity and possibility within their journey. And that's really through this mindset that I call creating separation. Um, you know, obviously it's, it's a play on, it's kind of a play on words, playing wide receiver. Um, but ultimately to create separation is, is to create differentiation. Um, you know, we, we all live in, in, you know, in, within competition, no matter what industry we're in and the ability to take your unique, you know, life experiences, your unique abilities, skills, and talents, and be able to, um, bring them to bear in, in whatever industry you're in is, um, is a way that you can differentiate yourself and create separation. And that's, that's ultimately, um, you know, what, what, what I'm doing right now and, and, and really the direction that I'm heading in. The Ball Podcast. What's, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? And welcome to another episode of the Beyond the Ball Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and you all know that the premise of this show is ultimately to focus on stories, strategies, and successes to help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. And if you have not connected with us, I would encourage you to subscribe to Apple Podcasts, Beyond the Ball Podcast with Jonathan Jones. In addition, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, be sure to click right here, right, and be sure to join our YouTube channel because we release not only the podcast episodes, but we also release exclusive content as well. Now, without further ado, I want to go ahead and get to today's guest. And I'm excited because we have a very special guest in the studio virtually, of course. And today's guest, with me being a longtime New Orleans Saints fan, growing up, watching Saints games, cheering on the Saints, watching with my dad and my brother. And I'm truly honored today to have on none other than Mr. Marcus Colston. And Marcus Colston, if you don't know or you're not familiar with Marcus Colston, first of all, you've been living under a rock, okay, because he played for the New Orleans Saints. He is a Super Bowl champion, you know, in regards to receptions, in regards to receiving yards, and even in regards to touchdowns. He's among the elite in New Orleans Saints history. And now he's an entrepreneur. In addition to that, he's an executive coach and he's doing things that are cutting edge all across the board. Without further ado, let me introduce to the Beyond the Ball podcast, Mr. Marcus Colston. Marcus, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. I appreciate you having me on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So go ahead and just 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 take a moment. And I, I know I didn't hit on everything that you do, j just like we were talking uh, offline earlier. You know, I've, I've been connected with you on LinkedIn for a while and just just been seeing the stuff that that you're that you're doing in addition to what I mentioned. So just Mar Marcus, just 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 take a second and, and give people a, a deeper snapshot, a little bit more about what you do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, at, th at this point, I I've been retired from the NFL for about uh I guess this would be my sixth year out and, um, you know, really taking a lot of my experiences as an athlete, um, you know, as an entrepreneur, as an angel investor, um, and kind of distilling it all into a, a way to, to help other individuals, uh, whether they be management professionals, they be entrepreneurs, they be athletes in transition, um, you know, really working with individuals and, and kind of, helping them to, to unlock their, their own, you know, creativity and possibility within their journey. And that's really through this mindset that I call creating separation. Um, you know, obviously it's, it's a play on, it's kind of a play on words playing wide receiver. Um, but ultimately to create separation is, is to create differentiation. Um, you know, we, we all live in, in, you know, in within competition, no matter what industry we're in and the ability to take your unique, you know, life experiences, your unique abilities, skills, and talents, and be able to um, bring them to bear in, in whatever industry you're in is um, is the way that you can differentiate yourself and create separation. And that's that's ultimately, um, you know, what 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 I'm doing right now and, and, and really the direction that I'm heading in. Excellent, excellent. C create separation. I mean, when you when, when you when you said that, that I mean, my first thought was just, just seeing you like running around or something, and then, you know, you like... <laughs> hitting a little curl <laughs> <laughs> oh wow wow okay so so what what exactly is is an angel investor 
an angel investor is is somebody that that invests in in really uh, early stage private companies. Um, so, you know, th there'll, there'll be startups. A lot of them are, are technology types of startups um, that I was investing in. But ultimately, it's it's really the, the, the riskiest asset class that you can invest in. Um, but those are the stories that you hear of the early investors in in Facebook, um, the early investors in Airbnb, a lot of those people that are that get in really early at the ground level are angel investors. Okay, okay. And and how did, how did you get introduced into the like in into this space, especially from, you know, you 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 going and, and playing in the league, which which I've heard oftentimes means not for long. Um, but you know, you going from playing in the league, and then getting out. So can you, can you first walk walk us back a little bit? And just talk about how that transition was from going to being in the league competing at a high level, and then you know, taking the time to where you decided that now it's time for you to to do something else and then just going into that piece about uh how that came about with angel investing yeah i mean it was it was um i was just really fortunate to have uh some advisors while i was still playing actually um that that were on my financial advisory team that were former players themselves and i actually started i played 10 years i started to to think about business and and life after in about my uh, my third or fourth year, and you know those two advisors really pushing me to to kind of always um, kind of stretch the limits in, in a lot of ways, and that's when I, I initially got introduced into entrepreneurship and angel investing. And for me, it was an opportunity to to kind of get get a chance to look behind the curtain, um, you know, with with some of these companies that that the world was kind of on fire, you know, talking about, and getting access to some of these companies and, and the entrepreneurs and really starting to learn what went into building a successful company. Um, and what I quickly found out was that I could take a lot of my, my mindset, a lot of my approach to actually preparing, you know, to play at the highest level. And it, it, it kind of ran in parallel with, you know, the conversations that I was having with I was, um, for me, it was kind of a light bulb moment to where I, I saw that, you know, what I was doing as an athlete and preparing, um, you know, always evolving my game, it was directly applicable to, you know, entrepreneurship and building companies. And I was, I was kind of hooked at that point. Mm. Wow. Wow. Huh. Okay. Okay. So when, so when did the, the connection or I guess plugging the pieces together start to happen for you? Because I mean, I, I I don't want to say that that I think it's uncommon because I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure because I didn't you know I didn't play in the league so I can't say what what's common just just in that regard but but just in the aspect of you know when you were competing like were were, were these were these people who you were introduced to or these were just relationships that you had or can you, can you talk a little bit about that Yeah, it it initially started as you know people I was introduced to and. Like I said, once I once I had a couple conversations and you know we started to we started to talk about you know, from their standpoint, what it took to build a business, what what they were kind of what their process looked like and really what their goals were and how they were looking to accomplish those goals. And as I'm listening and as I'm engaging in, in the conversation, I'm realizing that this is a lot of the same mentality that I have as I'm preparing for my sport. Right. So um, when 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 I was able to connect those dots, it kind of empowered me to go out and start to have other conversations and start to meet people and network a little bit, because this invisible barrier that we as athletes kind of sometimes put up, um, there seems to be like this disconnect when it comes to knowledge and, and that knowledge transfer. Um, and when I was able to connect the dots with my own journey, you know, towards, you know, really pursuing greatness as an athlete and really connect it to an entrepreneur's journey in terms of them trying to build a really successful company, um, that barrier kind of went away and it, and it really empowered me to go have conversations knowing that um, I might not, I might not have a hundred percent of the lingo and the, and the technical knowledge, mm -hmm. but the process I, I fully understand. And it's what I use day in and day out. Mm. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. So as we're, th as we're talking about processes, what is your, what does your daily routine look like? Because, you know, just, just with just with you being you know, who, who you are and you operating, how you operate. And just like you said, uh, work, working with 
uh, work, working with executives. What what does your daily routine look like? Your are or your are your success routine, if you will. <laughs> you know, for for me, my my routine it it, it kind of fluctuates a bit because I'm still um, I'm still kind of homeschooling a little bit. So um, I've got I've got two little ones. My 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 daughter is six. My son is nine. Um, so they're still only doing half days of school. So my, my work, my work schedule is a little truncated, but, um, you know, at ultimately I, I start my day, I, I get up every, every morning. I start my day with a workout. I, I, I do about somewhere between 60 and 90 minutes, um, just to kind of get, get my wheels turning, get the juices going. Um, I try to carve out 10 or 15 minutes after I work out to, to get some, like some mindfulness training and kind of, kind of set my, my intention for the day. And, um, you know, from there it's, it's, um, it's either, you know, creating content, creating curriculum, um, or it's, it's, um, you know, taking meetings and, and trying to, trying to figure out, you know, um, how to, how to partner with other folks, how to, um, you know, create those business development and those sales pipelines. Um, you know, so that's, that's ultimately, I, I spend my days e either creating content, creating curriculum or um, trying to sell it through to to other individuals to either partner with or or to, to work with them creating curriculum so so where where are you creating curriculum for where where, <laughs> where, where, where is it where is this for where is this for marcus so so th there's a couple of different avenues um so one, one of the things that i actually picked up um last last fall i actually picked up a role as an adjunct professor um, down at the University of New Orleans, um, teaching in their their honors college, their their school of entrepreneurship. Um, so I teach I teach a course around entrepreneurial leadership there, and um, I'm actually in my second semester now and th this spring. So you know, developing out 16 weeks of, of curriculum um, was was not something I ever really saw myself doing, but I'm I'm enjoying it as I'm doing it now, and. Um, you know the the other avenues. I'm 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 actually currently working on a, a an education platform for um, college athletes transitioning um, into their next stage, and um, you know just trying to trying to keep uh, keep current and, and keep keep learning. Um, just continue to you know my clients um, on on the, on the coaching side. Okay. Okay. So I have, have two I have two other questions. You you just sparked two other questions for me. So the the first question I have for you is because I'm I'm glad that you have your own business and you're also teaching entrepreneurship. The question I have for you is where where does the line have to be drawn in terms of an entrepreneurship professor or a professor who teaches a course on entrepreneurship? But this professor has never had their own business. T please talk to me because I, I, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Ooh, um, <laughs> that's 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 interesting. Um, I, I'd say this: the the line is is probably. Um, I think that there's a lot that you can teach from the from the philosophical standpoint. I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of theory that you can teach. Um, if you haven't run your own business, um, but I think the line the line starts to get um, get really blurry, you know, when when you're you're talking about things and you're talking about tactical things that you haven't really done. Um, so I think, you know, talking about theory and, and talking about strategy is one thing, but but actually, you know, trying to to give people tactical advice on what they should be doing um, when you haven't done it yourself, that's it gets a little dicey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can move on. We can move on. <laughs> so, so what is it that really brought you to the point to where you said, I, I want to put something in place working with student athletes. I want to put something in place to help them transition. What, what was the, 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 the light bulb moment or what was it that really inspired, you know, this, this, this new next, next level that, that you're tapping into? It's, it's been it's been an area that I've been really passionate about for for some time now. Um, and, you know, for me, it, it really stems back to my experience with the, the two advisors that I mentioned in my life that were just they were really instrumental in me getting started. And, um, you know, I've spent, you know, the last the last four years in, in education, um, you know, I, I 
back in uh, 2017, 2018, I developed a, a program for, for professional athletes around venture investing and entrepreneurship at, at uh, University of Columbia. And at that point, that was really my, my entry point into education. And, you know, what I got out of that course was it, it really kind of validated the passion. And, and it, it was a point where I kind of started to double down because I, I realized that as athletes, no matter what level we're at, um, our ability, our mindset, our processes on, on how we continue to get better, how we continue to chase, you know, um, you know, goals that, that stretch us, um, you know, as I, as I got further and further in, ingrained in the business world, I started to, to realize how much I was pulling on those same processes that I developed as an athlete. And when I looked around, there wasn't a lot of people that were, there weren't a lot of people that were, were teaching that side um of the the transferable skills that people talk about um we hear about leadership we hear about teamwork and those are all really really important skills but as an athlete you develop these tactical skills on how to you know how to maintain a level of self-awareness to where you know how you show up in in any given situation but you also know your strengths and weaknesses and how you continue to improve right and you know, when you take when you take tactical skills like that, those become applicable everywhere. And when I looked around and I didn't see a ton of those those types of programs and a ton of people talking about those skills, um, that's when I realized that I wanted to to go you know from the pro level and I wanted to continue to work my way down and kind of create this pipeline of of you know student athletes and athletes that you know are given resources that that are really familiar to them. Um, so that they don't feel like in transition, they have to, you know, flush one career down the toilet and start from scratch with the next one. Yeah, that makes so much sense because I think student athletes just, just as you've alluded to, they're sitting on goal for lack of better terms, because a lot of times they have the skills, they have the traits, they have the attributes, but sometimes it's just difficult to translate that into resume language or to translate that mm -hmm. into job experience. So uh, I, I think I think that's 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 a really valid point. Um, that's that's a really valid point there. And now I, I just I just have to, Marcus. I just have to Na name, image, and likeness. Na name, image, and likeness. Talk talk to me. What 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 are, what are your what are your thoughts? What what are your reservations? Just 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 talk to me. It's, it's about time, man. It's about time. Like college college sports has been a, a multi billion dollar business for a long time, and you know there, there's athletes that. You know, they, they they play four years, they play five years, and they've given they've given everything to to a school and a university, and you know they walk away you know with 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 nothing, and they haven't been able to take their highest earning potential and earn anything against it. Um, so I think I think it's it's been about time. Um, glad to see the conversations are, are turning into action, um, and now it's it it kind of puts it puts the onus on, on the schools to to figure out how to equip these these student athletes with with the tools to you know not just monetize their name image and likeness but you know do it in a way that's efficient but that's also sustainable so that you know it, it becomes part of that bridge between their their career student athletes and whatever their next their next phase in life is going to be Certainly, certainly. And I mean, I'm glad that there is that that they're putting together, like I get I don't want to call it a task force, but they're putting together committees and they're putting together groups to to navigate through what, what that curriculum is mm -hmm. going to look like, what that program is going to look like, what will be most beneficial. So, you know, ju just like you shared, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the conversation. The only the only concern I have is not really a concern, but it's just how long will it take for it to really get flushed out to like where it's you know, to, to where it's clear and because even, you know, the iPhone, the iPhone, even as high a quality the iPhone is when it first right. comes out, you know, there's some bugs, <laughs> they, they have to work some things out o o o over right. time. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm, I'm really hopeful. And I, I think it is going to be a great, great opportunity for sure. No, I, 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 sh I share your sentiments, man. It's, it's going to be, it's probably going to be rocky to start, but it's, it's a conversation that it's it's not you you have to get it started and you you have to work the kinks out and and version 1.0 is is not going to look like version 3 or 4.0 but um you know it has to get started because there there's there's just way too many opportunities there's way too much money being made 
um, you know, off the backs of these athletes and, you know, for, for them to, to not really have a say in it or, or have, have any upside in it, um, to this point, man, it's just, it's just not right. So, um, we'll work the kinks out, but, uh, you know, let these, let these guys start, start earning, man. It's, it's, it's way past due. Definitely. 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 So if you if, if you were to, if you were able to, I guess, sit down at a table. Right. And I, I didn't tell you about this. I didn't, you know, did, didn't communicate this before. But this is just a I'm pulling this from left field. But but if you were able to either have dinner with like one person or like, you know, maybe maybe I'll, I'll give you a couple. I'll give you a couple past or present, alive or dead. Who who would who would like your top three be? Like like these people that you know you either just just you know you just admire them as a leader as like a business owner or you know father mother whatever whatever it might be but who 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 would be these three people where you would just say let's sit down and I have my notebook ready man that's that's a ooh, that's a good question um I think I think one one person on my list is 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 Barack Obama. Um, and, you know, for, for a lot of different reasons, I think, you know, what, what he was able to do, uh, and kind of break, break that, that, that barrier, um, you know, was, it, it's just, it's just, it's one of those things that, um, I would love to pick his brain around, you know, what that process looked like, um, and what, what, you know, how was he, how was he able to navigate that, um, so that's that's definitely one person on 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 my list. Um, man, um, I can't. Man, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 that I mean, I, I didn't allow you to prepare for it at all. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, that one is a solid answer. That one is a that, that's a solid one. <laughs> that's a solid one so yeah we can we can just rock we we, we, can, we can just keep rocking we keep rocking don't 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 worry about that don't worry about that we jump off I'm, I'm gonna come up with four more yeah i know <laughs> i know you <laughs> oh man i know I, I know you will I, I know you will um so now now we'll now we'll, we'll just go ahead and transition into the we'll go ahead and transition into the the the, the two minute the two minute drill okay and, and the two minute drill ultimately is just the opportunity to allow the, okay. the, the, the ballers out there that, that are listening, you know, j- just to get to see a, a different side of you um, from, from what we've talked about today and, you know, just to have a little bit of fun. So are you, are you ready? I think I'm ready. I'm always ready. Okay. Okay. Good answer. You have to be, we're doing the two minute, you're doing the two minute drill. <laughs> I mean, it just, it just makes sense. Okay. So here, here we, here we go. Favorite food. Uh, pizza, pepperoni. Okay, what's what's the last book you read? Um, 21, uh, 21 Laws of uh, Leadership. Um, okay, Maxwell. What's your go, go-to streaming show of preference? Go-to streaming show. Um, it, it, it was, uh, it was Ozark. Uh, so I'm wait, waiting to see if a new season comes out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid, solid. What, what's what, what's your what's your favorite podcast? Favorite podcast? Um, Earn Your Leisure. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's 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 a good one. That's a good one. And then what's what's one tip? What, what what's one tip that you want to uh, leave for a student athlete? Um, I would say, I would say, um. Your, your your journey as an athlete, as a student athlete, um, what you go through, um, the sacrifices you make, the adversity that you fight through. Um, I would say, figure out figure out a way to, to capture that and and try and repurpose it, um, because your your next step is is you'll be able to to take a lot of the experiences that that you that you develop as as an athlete and and as you continue to develop as an athlete um as you're transitioning don't don't overthink it because you you have the skills you have you have the tools you have the mindset um don't overthink it and you know what what feels what feels right what feels instinctual 
um, you've gotten yourself to this point using your gut, you know, so continue to use your gut and, and all of the skills that you've developed over the years. That's good. That's good. And then, the, and then the bonus question I always like to ask is who, who's the next guest that, that you would like to see me uh, interview on beyond the ball? Hmm. Um, that's a great, great question. Um, have you, have you gotten to, uh, Jed, Jed Collins? No, I have not. Mm-mm. I'd like to see Jed on here because he has he has a really interesting take on financial education, and I think that's a within within the student athlete group. I think that's that's a conversation you can never start too early. Okay, okay, there there it is, there it is, there it is. Well, look, you made it through. You safely made it through. <laughs> you know, you you, 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 safe, you safely yeah, you safely made it through. I, I definitely want to want to thank you for taking the time to to, to come on. And, and really quick, please, just let everybody know where they can find you, how they can connect with you, and, and find out even more about what, what you have going on. Yeah, absolutely. You can find me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, and LinkedIn. Uh, my, my handle is just my name, uh, Marcus Colston. Uh, you can also check out my website, which is uh, marcuscolston.xyz. I got to ask you, I got to ask, <laughs> what, what, what made you do the XYZ? Just, just tell me that. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's two reasons. The, the on-brand reason is I'm, I'm creating separation, even with my domain. Mm. Um, the, the, the other reason is, is a domain, uh, a domain investor got me. Oh, <laughs> like man. Com. Oh, why do they, so, why, do, why do people do that? Yeah, man. It, it, it caught me slipping. They've had, they've had it for some time, but I saw that dot X, Y, Z and I'm like, all right, this is an up and coming domain. So let's, let's go ahead and, and move forward with it. Huh? Well, well, there, there, there it is. There it is. So everybody out there listening, I would, I would encourage you all to, to, to definitely connect with Marcus and, and, uh, you know, screen, screenshot this episode if you're watching it on YouTube and, and DM it and, and then let him know like what, what part of, of the interview really, really stood out, what really spoke to you, um, and, and then, and then connect, connect, connect. I would encourage you to connect with them, um, because I, I've, I've been following this journey on LinkedIn and I, I can appreciate, you know, the content he puts out and, and the clips putting out the, the speaking clips, you know, being, being a fellow speaker, I definitely can, can appreciate that as well. So Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time to, to come on today. And, you know, I'm, I'm honored with, with you, with you being a former saint and, you know, me being part of who that nation. So, so thank you so much for, for coming on. Now, I appreciate you having me, man. And uh look forward to staying connected. Most definitely. Most definitely. So all the all the ballers out there, all the ballers out there, I would encourage you all to make sure that you subscribe to the podcast on YouTube to to get not only the podcast, but also exclusive video content. In addition to that, I would encourage you to subscribe if you're listening on Apple and then leave a rate and review if you found uh, this episode helpful or any of the other episodes that you have heard. And friends, thank you for for hanging out. Uh, thank you for hanging out with, with on this conversation with, with Mr. Mr. Marcus Colston. And once again, my name is Jonathan Jones. This is Beyond the Ball, where we help you succeed beyond your degree.